During mitosis, DNA is condensed into chromosomes. First, DNA wraps twice around proteins called histones, forming beads called nucleosome, the basic unit of DNA packing. Next, histones interact to form 30 nanometer fiber, which in turn forms loop domain attached to a chromosome scaffold composed of proteins, making up a 300 nanometer fiber. Lastly, the 300 nanometer loop domain condenses into chromosome which consists of a pair of sister chromatid replicated during S phase, each with a short arm called P arm and long arm called Q arm, separated by central mirrors which link the sister chromatids and telomere region at the end of Q arm, which protect the terminal regions from processive degradation during DNA replication. Chromatin is the material that makes up chromosomes. It remains decondensed during interphase and only condenses to chromosomes during mitosis. Chromatin is consists of DNA and proteins, which includes three main types. SMC stands for structural maintenance of chromosomes. It includes cohesins, which holds sister chromatids together, and condensins, which functions in condensation of chromosomes. Histones are proteins that pack DNA into nucleosomes. A histone octamer consists of two H2A and H2B dimers and an H3 to H4 tetramer, linked by H1 histone. The third type of chromatin proteins are topoisomerases, which are enzymes that increase or decrease the extent of DNA unwinding. There are two classes of topoisomerases. Type 1 topoisomerase only breaks a single strand of DNA, which doesn't require ATP. It includes topoisomerase 1 and topoisomerase 3, and result in a change of linking number or RIFE by increments of 1. Type 2 topoisomerase cleaves double-stranded DNA which requires ATP. It includes topoisomerase 2 and 4, which change linking number by increments of 2. DNA supercoiling refers to overwinding or underwinding of a DNA strand. The relaxed DNA is a closed circular molecule. Left-handed underwinding of DNA creates negative supercoils, while right-handed overwinding of DNA creates positive supercoils. Most cellular DNA is underwound, and the regulation of negative supercooling by topoisomerases play a huge role in DNA compaction, replication, and transcription. DNA supercooling is defined by linking number, which is a property of double-stranded DNA that does not vary when the DNA is bent or deformed, and can only be changed by topoisomerase. The linking number is the number of times a strand is crossing another strand. Linking number can be broken down into two structural components. Twist is defined by base pair per turn, and it represents the local twisting or spatial relationship of neighboring base pairs, whereas Rife is a measure of the coiling of helix axis, or the number of super turns. When the linking number changes, some of the resulting strain is usually compensated for by Rife or by changes in twist. The superhelical density is a measure of the number of terms removed relative to the number present in relaxed DNA. It is defined by the change in linking number over the linking number of relaxed DNA. Cellular DNAs are generally underwound with helical density between negative 0.07 and negative 0.05. There are two forms of supercoiling. Bacterial DNAs usually form right-handed negative plectonemic supercoils whereas eukaryotic DNAs usually form left-handed negative solenoidal supercoils, which are wrapped around histones. Chromatin remodeling is an important mechanism of regulating eukaryotic gene expression. It is a dynamic interchange between the loose active form of chromatin known as euchromatin and the compact inactive form of chromatin known as heterochromatin. There are three main types of histone modifications that remodel chromatin. In histone acetylation, acetyl groups are attached to positively charged lysines in histone tails, which loosens chromatin structure, thereby promoting the initiation of transcription. Whereas deacetylation of lysine tails would promote heterochromatin structure, which is unavailable for transcription. Second, methylation can condense chromatin, which promotes heterochromatin, and demethylation can promote euchromatin. And lastly, phosphorylation next to a methylated amino acid can promote euchromatin, and dephosphorylation can promote heterochromatin.